Hey everyone, it's Rachel from Sugar Maple Farmhouse and today I want to show you our fall front porch. The last couple of weeks have been so busy. I was out of town for a little while, then I got really sick, and then we had a donkey emergency. But sometime in between all of that, I found time to decorate the fall front porch, which is one of my favorite yearly activities. I can't wait to show you guys all the details and how I saved money this year. So let's get started. So this year, I was determined to save money when decorating the fall front porch. In the past, it's cost a bit of money to decorate this space, and I really wanted to be able to save this year and do it for less. The first thing that I did to save was to reuse all of the furniture and planters. Even my wreath forms are reused. I also decided this year that I wanted to go classic fall colors, burgundies, golds, and pumpkin oranges. That made saving money even easier because I didn't need to buy specialty pumpkins. Typically, specialty pumpkins that are in different colors cost more money, and you can save going the traditional route. For us, we also grew all the pumpkins on the front porch this year, so I didn't end up spending any money on pumpkins. I realize not everyone can do this, but if you have a backyard, you can probably find a little patch where you could grow a pumpkin vine or two. I've found that pumpkins tend to grow like weeds. If you have a fence, it's even better because they love to vine on a nice fence. I also DIY'd our front door wreaths this year. I used old grapevine wreaths and broom corn to give them an organic, beautiful, natural fall look. Here's how. First, I used the bottom pieces of the broom corn stalks that weren't seeded to form kind of a background. Then I wove the seeded pieces of the broom corn through the grapevine wreath. Make sure when weaving, all your pieces go in the same direction. I didn't use floral wire on them until they were hanging, and then I just used a few pieces to adjust some squirrely pieces of room corn. Hold it up every now and then to see how the pieces fall and where you need to fill in some gaps. I also thrifted some pieces on the front porch this year. That includes the vases and the table between the rockers. Thrifting is a great way to save and still give everything a fresh look. I also pulled some pieces from other spaces of our home, like the tray and the pillows. The last thing I did was that I DIY'd my fall planters. This is so easy to do and I generally do it every year. You can buy a fall planter, but sometimes they charge like $75 for that and that's just a little ridiculous. So I always like to DIY my own. 
Planting my large outdoor planters with mums and combining them with some still growing summer ivy was an easy way to go. Then instead of using more big planters, I grouped the pots so that they would look beautiful and create interest with color and texture. Thank you guys so much for following along today. I hope that you love the fall front porch and I hope that it inspires you this season. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And as always, there'll be a full blog post up with all the details on this at sugarmaplefarmhouse.com. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe so you can follow along with everything we're doing here at Sugar Maple Farmhouse. Thanks so much everyone.